Hello everyone, this is Anson from AnsonAlex.com and in this video I'm going to show you how you can enable and disable JavaScript when using Google Chrome. So you can see we're on my website right now and I currently have JavaScript enabled. So when I loaded this page we have this video element up here that you could click and play the video right from the home page and we also have this advertisement down here at the bottom. You'll notice that when I disable JavaScript these elements will not appear quite the same. Uh, so let's take a look at how we can do that. Now I'm using Chrome for Mac, however this process is essentially the same in Chrome for Windows. Uh, but you just need to access your settings. So in Mac we're going to go to the Chrome menu and we're going to go to Preferences. In Windows I think there might be three dots or three lines over here, kind of like this, and uh, you can access your preferences from here as well, down here at Settings. Uh, so that would be more similar to how you would do it on Windows. Once you're in your settings, you're going to take a look down here at the Privacy and Security section. And from within the Privacy and Security section, there is an area called Site Settings. And we're going to click on Site Settings. Now there's a whole bunch of settings in here that you can modify on how websites are displayed to you when you access them from a web browser. However, we're talking about JavaScript. So if we go about midway through this list, you'll notice that we have JavaScript. And if we click, we can now fully enable and disable JavaScript. So if you already had JavaScript disabled, for whatever reason, that can happen for multiple reasons, uh, this is how you would re-enable it. You can see mine is currently enabled, so I could tick this, and now it's disabled. Alternatively, I can also block and allow sites. So I could turn JavaScript off, but say, hey, I want to allow it on these 10 sites, and I could add the 10 sites in here, or I could turn it on and say, yeah, I want to use it on most sites, but there are a few sites that I use that I don't like the JavaScript, so you could add them into the block section. Uh, we'll just turn it off completely for now. And to add them in, you just add the URL if you wanted to do that. So I'll show you that real quick. We would just go back here, and we would click up here at the URL, and we would copy it, Command C, or control C to our clipboard, go back to the settings, and then we would click the add button, and then we would paste the web address in here, command V or control V, and click add. So I could add that specifically. But again, I'm just going to turn it off completely, and then we're going to go back to my web page, and we're going to reload the page. Now you'll notice a few things happened here. So we no longer have this clickable video, we're no longer seeing this advertisement, and we are getting this pop-up here. Uh, this is most likely, I think it's because I cleared my cookies and cash before I started recording this video. Um, so you'll notice that the JavaScript elements on my page disappeared. All my other things are displaying. I also have a JavaScript element here that disappeared. So for my site, you know, I personally think that you probably want JavaScript enabled. Let's go back into our settings and enable it. Go back over to the site and reload. Uh, but there are some sites where there might be a bug on the site. I think a very common one is when you get a pop-up when you enter the site that you can't close. They forgot to put the close button so you can't avoid that pop-up and you can't get out of it. You could try disabling JavaScript and then you would hopefully be able to access that site and the pop-up wouldn't appear. You'll notice all the elements are now back on my page, the advertisement, the video, and we've got this YouTube element down here. Uh, so I hope you found this video helpful. This is how you can enable and disable JavaScript when using Google Chrome. If you found this video helpful, I would really appreciate a thumbs up here on YouTube. And if you want to see more technology tips and tutorials, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. That's all I have for you for today. This is Anson from AnsonAlex.com.